Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today's video is going to be showing you guys what is on my new iPhone 13. This is a super requested video, so obviously I had to make it for you guys. If you guys haven't already seen it, I did post the unboxing video for this iPhone, and you guys are really liking it so far, so thank you so much for all of your guys' support. If you have not seen that video, I would totally suggest you go check it out. It'll be right up here in the iCard for you guys to go find. But let's just get into the phone. This video is in collaboration with Bing Cases, so I want to thank Bing Cases so much much for partnering with me for this video. If you guys have been watching my channel for a while, you would know that I love this phone case company. I have a ton, a ton of cases from them for my old phone, and I'm so happy to already start my collection for this phone. Bing Cases is an amazing company, and I would totally suggest you guys go check them out. I do have a coupon code and like a referral link for you guys to go check them out for 10% off. So the code is AD10, I believe. So the code and the website will be linked in the description down below below for you guys to go check out. Once again, I would 100% recommend. The case that I currently have on my phone is this case. It is a clear case with these little like dancing skeletons on it. I'm loving this case for the spooky season that we're in right now. It's super cute, but also matches like the vibe. My phone is pink, so this also looks great on the pink as well. The sides of the phone case do also have this like white border, and then there is a little raised part for the camera so that your camera is ensured to be protected and it won't crack if you drop your phone. I love, love, love this case and they have a bunch of other Halloween cases if you guys are interested in those. And I did wanna show you guys a couple more of the cases that they sent me. So first, this is what their packaging currently looks like. It's this white box and then you just pull on this to get your case. So another case that I got is this one and it is so cute. I was gonna put this one on my phone originally but then I was like, it's fall so might as well put the Halloween case on there. But this is another case that I got. It is clear and then it has these cute little flowers on it and this one does also have these white edges this one is adorable you guys I've seen so many other people use this case and when it comes springtime this is the one that'll be on my phone next I got this one with a bunch of hearts on it so once again it is a clear case and it has these little hearts with the little smiley faces on it this one is so adorable and I just had to pick it out once again this one does have the little white edges you can customize these to have black edges instead or I think some of them also have like a rainbow edge or like pink blue and purple which is super cool so you can decide what kind of like border you would want and then lastly they sent me this case so originally I had picked out one of the blue sand cases so like it's blue and the sand kind of moves but unfortunately since the 13 is so new they didn't have those in stock yet so they just sent me this one with the pink glitter and honestly this one is just as cute it has my name customized in the middle it's clear with with this pink glitter that just moves when you tilt the phone. This one is super satisfying to watch and I would definitely put this one on my phone as well. Not only are their cases cute, but they are super protective, which kind of completes the whole package. So once again, I would totally recommend you guys go check them out. And if you want to twin with me this Halloween, definitely get this case. It's super, super cute. The links and the discount code will be in the description down below. Thank you so much to Bing Cases for supporting my whole channel. They've been with me for a while. Let's get into what's in the actual phone. So here is my lock screen. It is a picture of me and my friends at the beach. It is so cute and I just, I love it. And then on the inside, this is what the home screen looks like. So if you guys watched my last What's on My iPhone, I might have had this same like background, like the one on the inside of my phone. So this like yellow and green kind of thing. I might have had the same one. I really like it and I think I'll keep it for a while, but I found it off of Pinterest and that's just what it looks like. On the first page here, I just have like the normal apps. So on the top, I have FaceTime time, calendar, photos, camera, notes, weather, clock, and maps. And then below that I have two widgets and these actually like circle through a set of pictures every five minutes. So every five minutes it changes. So the one on the left is a picture of me and my cousin's dog. And this whole like photo widget album is just dog pictures, like me and the dogs or someone else and the dogs or just like dogs in my life. I don't know, they're super cute pictures. And that one just circles through all of those. And then the one on the 
right is pictures of like just me and my friends. So that's a picture of me and Jenna in the car. But this is like all the pictures that I have in this album now. But obviously I add more as time goes on. And once again, these do change every five minutes. If you guys are wondering what app I use to make these, it's Photo Widget. I would totally recommend. It's super good. Then I have Mail, App Store, Settings, and Shop. I've explained Shop before. It basically helps you track online orders in like one place. So I really like that. Then I have my Apple folder and this just has like all of the Apple apps that I don't really use. The most apps that I use out of here are Reminders, Find My iPhone, and like Contacts. I don't really use that much in this folder, but I figured I'd just put it all here. Then I have my Money folder. This is just where I put all like my money related apps. Then Random is just like random apps that I'll use, but not every single day. So I just kind of put them in this one folder. In here we have Bitmoji. Living Earth is like another weather app. Widget Smith is for obviously widgets. HP Sprocket is to help me print off of that little mini printer that I have. And then Motivation Quotes was for a motivational quote widget, but I don't actually use this app anymore. And then the next app is for like a bike helmet. So it kind of like tracks your helmet in case you crash and it alerts people. Then we have Notion, Life360. I don't even use Life360 with my family. It's literally only with friends, which I think is kind of funny. And then I have Knott's Berry Farm and Photo Widget. And then lastly, I have this work folder. It only has two apps, but I just got this phone, so I'm still putting some apps on here. So far in here, I have Gmail and Google Calendar. Both of these apps I use for work, which is basically just YouTube, but I like to separate these from school because school and YouTube are two completely different things and I don't want to categorize them together. So yeah, that's that folder. And then on this bottom row here, I have the calling app, Safari, and then messages. So they're easy access whenever I need. And now we're gonna move on to the second page. Okay, so this is the second page and I don't know if you guys noticed, but I'm pretty sure the photo widget in the top left corner just changed. On this page, this is like basically all my other apps. So first we have another photo widget. This one also circles through a bunch of pictures, but this little like widget is just a bunch of pictures from when Lindsay traveled to California. We took so many pictures on this trip and so I titled it Elle's California trip. And it's just a bunch of pictures from that trip because I don't know, I really liked this trip and it was super fun. So yeah, that picture right there is a picture of me and Jenna the day before Lindsay flew in. We were at Target buying some essentials. And then next to it, I have my main socials. So we have TikTok, Snapchat, Instagram, YouTube. Usually all of my like ads for my socials will pop up in one of these bottom corners in the beginning of my videos. But if you wanna follow me on TikTok and Instagram, both of those are just at Alyssa Darland. And then Snapchat is my personal like app that I use with my friends and sometimes family. So I don't usually give that out. And then YouTube, obviously we're here. And then paparazzi was like a pretty popular app for a while and it's not really anymore. So I don't really use that. Then we have Pinterest and Spotify. I believe you can follow me on those two. I don't exactly know my like ads for any of them, but I'll just put them right here on the screen. And then YouTube studio, I've explained this before. It's basically an analytic app that you can use to track your YouTube channel and see your analytics from your phone instead of having to use like a web browser on your computer. It's super handy and I would definitely recommend. And then below that, I have Netflix and Disney Plus, obviously to watch whatever I need to watch. And then I have an editing folder. This folder is for editing like thumbnails and just pictures. So I have Lightroom, Pixar, iMovie, Photo. Photo Retouch is like to erase certain things and then Photoshop. I probably use Lightroom and Fonto the most out of all of these, but I have used all of them at some point. Then I have my school folder and this just has all my school related apps. I'm not gonna go through these, but basically I have all like the Google apps like Google Drive, I have Canvas, some stuff for my personal school and just other school related apps. Then I have my health folder. This has two apps in it. I have the actual health app that comes on this phone that like tracks your steps, your heart beating. That's not right. Your heart rate, your heart rate and just other stuff. And then I have Flow, which is a period tracker app. If any of you need one, it's, I would totally recommend it. Then I have my games folder. These are games that I play when I'm bored and I have more. They're just not in this folder. So I have Subway Surfer. Roblox, I play with my friends, Infinity Tiles, Bubble Witch, Among Us, I have not played in a long time, BitLife, I also haven't played in a while, and then Geometry Dash Lite. I am addicted to this game, you guys. Like, even in my last What's on my iPhone, I think I talked about it. I really like this game, and it's really fun to play when you're bored, especially at school. And then another game app that I would totally recommend that's not, like, a physical app is Game Pigeon. So basically what you do is, it's an app that you download, but it's only for, like, iMessages, so, like, iPhones. 
friends and basically what it is is it's like games that you can play over text with people and so you do your move and you send it to them and then they do it back and then they're just back and forth and it's really fun if you guys are looking for a fun little text message game and you have an iPhone I would 100% recommend game pigeon then moving on to my shopping folder I have a lot of shopping apps but just to go over some of my favorites I really like cotton on right now and also obviously target who doesn't like target and then lastly we have my food folder I have more food apps but they're just not in this folder these are the ones I use the most I probably use like Starbucks and Jamba juice the most but yeah so that's the food folder and as you guys can see my pictures just changed again on my home screen and then this last widget I have here is like aesthetic photos that I take so this folder is basically just full of like they're not really pictures I take of like me and my friends more of like what we do so we have some like roller coasters food sunsets just like anything like that so yeah that's what that is just kind of aesthetic pictures in a way and yeah and then next to that we have the app library where all the apps are held I don't really go there often but that is basically what is on my phone okay guys so I think that is it for today's video if you guys enjoy this video or you enjoy like these iPhone related videos in general comment down below and also comment like what other videos you'd like to see from me because honestly I get most of my video ideas from you guys so comment those down below once again thank you so much to Bing cases for partnering with me for today's video I really appreciate it and I love their cases you guys like this one is so cute so yeah that is it for this video if you did enjoy this video make sure you like subscribe and hit that bell down below to be notified whenever I post I currently do not have a posting schedule but I'm trying to post like once a week I'm just posting whenever I really can also I wanted to let you guys know that there's gonna be some really fun videos coming up super super soon because I have a lot of fun events happening within the next week of me filming this video make sure you subscribe and look out for those next fun videos I will tell you that a lot of them are vlogs thank you guys so much for watching and I hope to see you in my next video bye